Hello everyone, it's Ryan Fernando here. Yes, Ryan Fernando is an educational channel, so if you wish to watch more educational videos, please consider subscribing. And today's video is the fourth part of current electricity. And in this video, we are going to talk about uh, series and parallel electrical networks. So this part will be important because not only for electricity but also for magnetic fields as well as electronics because we can find resistors in those lessons also. So let's start the fourth part of current electricity. So as I said before, uh, this is the fourth part and the today's uh, video's content will be uh, what is an equivalent resistance. Next we are going to talk about series uh, electrical resistor networks. Uh, finally, we are going to analyze, analyze about parallel electrical resistor networks. So let's start with what is, uh, what is an equivalent resistance? V, supply voltage of V. So this is the resistor network. Resistor network. So, due to that uh, supply voltage V, if the resistor network uh, takes current of I, then the ratio V to I is defined as the equivalent resistance R E Q. So, uh, R equal equivalent resistance is the ratio between V to I. So, that's it. And let's start, uh, let's uh, uh, talk about series and parallel electrical resistor network. So, in the, in the left side, uh, there is uh, there's given a series electrical resistance and the, in the right, there is given a parallel electrical resistor network. Uh, so, let us talk about the differences. In series electrical resistor, resistor networks, the current, current I is same for all resistors. Along all resistors, the current will be same. In the parallel electrical resistance, along every resistor, this V potential, poten electrical potential difference will be same. Uh, and also, uh, in a series resistor networks, the potential difference will be different. V1, V2, V3, and V4. Potential, potential drops will be different. In uh, parallel resistance systems, the current will be different I1, I2, I3 and I4. So, the important points are in series networks, the current is same, the potential drops are uh, different. In parallel systems, the potential different is same, the currents are different. So, let us talk about series systems in detail. So, this is a series electrical network. So, if, if, we, go, if we find uh, derive an equation for uh, the equivalent resistor, as I said before, the current will be same I and V1, V2, V3, V4. So, the equivalent resistor will be look like this the current will be same i and the, its uh, potential different will be v and if you take uh, r equivalent resistor as r we can uh, say that the v supply voltage will be equal uh, v1 plus v2 plus v3 v4 so v equals i r uh, ohms law to the equivalent resistor so v equals i r v1 will be i r1 I R two, likewise I R four, I R three. So the final equation after we cancel out all I. So this is the equation. R one to R two to R R one plus R two plus R three plus R n up to R n. So what are the important points? Are uh, as we said before, uh, the current will be same for every resistors and the and that current should be uh, go along the equivalent resistor as well. 
Next, the potential drops are different, and the summation of poten those potential different will be uh, lies across the equivalent resistor. And the R equivalent, uh, equ that is the equivalent resistor, will be greater than the maximum resistor uh, in inside the resistor network. Uh, that is the uh, uh, the R equivalent will be greater than any the maximum value between R1, R2, R3, R4, likewise. And the potential drops the uh, the ratios of potential drops V1 to V2 to V3 ratio will be R1 to R2 to R3. Uh, potential drop ratio will be equivalent to uh, resistor ratio. And uh, the above derived equation is uh, true for any number of resistors and if we take n number of resistors having the same uh, resistors resistance r this is the first second third likewise nth resistor the r equivalent will be n times r so that's all about uh, series electrical resistance uh, resistor networks and we are moving to parallel electrical resistor networks so this is this is a parallel electrical resistor network across every resistor the v will be same uh, the v supply voltage potential difference will be same the current will be different i1 i2 i3 and i4 so if we draw the equivalent resistor, it it uh, its current will be I, and its potential drop will be same as the uh, any of a resistor. So it uh, V is same. So this is the R equal resistor. So we can see that uh, we can say that I is equal to I one plus I two plus I3 plus I4. So, for if we use Ohm's law to our equivalent resistor, I equals V divided by R. So, this is V divided by R1, V divided by R2, likewise V divided by R4. So, the final, final equation after we cancel out the V uh, will be look like this. One over R equivalent equals to one over R one plus one over R two, one over R three, likewise up to R one over R n. So the important points will be uh, the potential dip drop across the uh, across all the resistors will be equal, and that the potential drop will be uh, equal to the potential drop uh, across the equivalent system, and the current across uh, resistors will be different but the summation of these currents will be equal to the current across the equivalent resistor. Substitute R, R for every term R2 to R likewise the R equivalent so the R equivalent will be R divided by N. So this is the equation for uh, if, if we have N number of resistors uh, connected parallelly uh, having the same resistor R so the uh, equal resistor will be R divided by N and uh, most of the time we have we uh, have to solve for two resistors so for two resistors the equation will be simplified as R1 R2 multiplied divided by R1 plus R2 so this is the equation for two resistors connected parallelly uh, and finally, uh, the uh, equivalent resistor of the parallel system will be uh, will be lower than uh, the lo lowest resistor in the system, and the current uh, the ratios of between currents I one to I two to I three the ratio between current will be equal to the uh, ratio between reciprocals of resistance uh, recipro reciprocal of R1 
2 reciprocal of R2 2 reciprocal of R3. So, the ratio between currents will be equal to the ratio between the reciprocals of uh, resistance. So, this is all about uh, parallel systems and with that the fourth video comes to an end. So, the, thanks for watching and if you like the video please hit the like button and please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and uh, with the hope of meeting you guys in the next video uh, the fifth part of the lesson uh, I'm going for today so have a nice day.